Next operation is deletion operation. How we are performing the deletion operation on a graph? Okay. So, I am explaining with one example. So, now this is a given graph G that contains the vertices A, B, C, D and V. Okay. So, this is the... The next operation is deletion operation. How we are performing the deletion operation on a graph? Okay. So, here there are two types. One is a vertex deleted subgraph and second one is edge deleted subgraph of G. Okay. So, how we are performing the vertex deleted subgraph of G? And how we are performing the edge deleted subgraph of G. That means how vertex can be deleted from the given graph and how edge can be deleted from the given graph. If a vertex V is deleted from the given graph, then we are getting a subgraph. That subgraph is called as vertex deleted subgraph of G. Okay. Suppose if edge is deleted from the given graph, then the subgraph we are getting is edge deleted subgraph of G. Okay. How we are deleting the vertex from the given graph? How we are deleting the edge from the given graph? That can be explained with one example. Okay. So this is the uh, given graph G. Okay, it contains the vertices A, B, C, D and V. Okay, here V is an vertex. Okay, so that vertex we have to delete it from the given graph G. Okay, this vertex and its incident edges are also deleted from the given graph. Then whatever the graph we are getting that graph is called as subgraph of G. Okay. This subgraph contains G minus V. Whatever the vertex we are deleted from the given graph G. So then we are getting the subgraph. That subgraph contains capital G minus V. Okay. So here we are deleting this vertex. Then we are getting a subgraph. Then we are, that graph is called as vertex deleted subgraph of G. Okay. Once again I am telling. This is graph G. It contains the vertices A, B, C, D and V. Okay. Here B is an vertex in the given graph G. Okay. Suppose we want to delete this vertex from the given graph G. Okay. This vertex Whatever the incident edges on that vertex, that edges are also deleted. Okay. So, after deleting this vertex, what are the incident edges? This one and this one and this one. These three edges are also removed along with the vertex V. Because these three edges are incident on vertex V. Okay, so after removing this vertex and the incident edges on this vertex, so this is the graph we are getting. This graph is called as subgraph of G. Okay, after deleting that vertex V and its incident edges. So this graph is called as G minus V. G minus V. Because from the given graph G, we are deleting this vertex along with its incident edges. Okay. Then this graph is called as vertex deleted subgraph of G or a G minus V. Okay. Next one. Now we go for the definition. Okay. 
if v is a vertex in a graph g so this is v is a vertex in the graph g then g minus v denotes the subgraph of g here this is the g minus v it denotes a subgraph of g obtained by deleting v we are deleting this vertex v and all edges incident on v so these are the three edges incident on this vertex from g this subgraph g minus v is called as vertex deleted subgraph of g g minus v is also called as vertex deleted subgraph of g okay next g minus v is the subgraph of g this g minus v is the subgraph of g induced by v1 is equal to v minus v so v1 is nothing but vertex set in g minus v is equal to v minus small v v is nothing but vertex set in graph g minus v whatever the vertex we are deleting okay so this means the vertices in g minus v can be obtained okay the vertex set in graph g minus whatever the vertex we are deleted that vertex okay next next we go for edge deleted subgraph of g okay so now consider this graph g okay in this graph g so here e is an edge in the graph g we have to delete this edge only edge e is deleted but we are not deleting its end vertices okay for the edge e what are the end vertices a and b we are not deleting a and b vertices only we are uh, eliminating we are removing this edge only okay then after deleting this edge but not its end vertices then the subgraph we are getting this subgraph is called as g minus e so it is called also called as edge deleted subgraph of g only this edge we have to eliminate it or are removed but not its end vertices then we are getting a graph then we are getting a subgraph of g so this subgraph of g is called as g minus e it is also called as edge deleted subgraph of g okay now we go for the definition if e is an edge so e is an edge in a graph g this is the graph g in that one e is an edge next one then g minus e denotes the subgraph of g okay so this is a g minus e it denotes the subgraph of g obtained by deleting e but not its end vertices only this edge we have to remove but not its end vertices a and b are not deleted only this edge is deleted from g this subgraph g minus e is referred to as edge deleted subgraph of g so whatever the subgraph we are getting after deleting the edge e but not its end vertices then we are getting the subgraph this subgraph is called as the g minus e that means edge deleted subgraph of this graph okay this is the definition of vertex deleted subgraph and this is the definition of edge deleted subgraph okay so we go for the definition the deletion of an edge does not alter the number of vertices after deleting this edge okay there is no change in the number of vertices so after deleting this edge how many number of vertices are there a b c d v here also a b c d v okay as such an edge deleted subgraph of a graph is a spanning subgraph of the graph g okay spanning subgraph of the graph g now this subgraph is also called as spanning subgraph of graph g for this graph this graph is also called as 
spanning subgraph of G, also called as edge deleted subgraph of G, because we are deleting only this edge but not its end vertices. Because of that reason, there is no change in the number of vertices in A and C. Hence, we can say that this is also called as spanning subgraph of G. Okay. So, in the case of vertex deleted subgraph, we are deleting a vertex and its incident edges from the graph G. Then, we are getting a graph called as subgraph of G. This subgraph of G is also called as G minus V. Okay. It is also called as vertex deleted subgraph of G. Okay. Next, in the case of edge deleted subgraph G, we are deleting only one edge but not its end vertices. So, after deleting only edge but not its in, uh, end vertices, then whatever the sub, whatever the graph we are getting, that graph is a subgraph of G. This subgraph of G can be written as G minus E. It is also called as edge deleted subgraph of G. So, this graph is also called as spanning subgraph of G because it maintains the number of vertices in the main graph G also same in subgraph of G. So, hence we can say that G minus E is also called as spanning subgraph of this graph G. Okay.